I will speak. Okay. Well, Joyce, you'll have to forgive Sissy and me if we kind of do a little down-home week because we have known one another for a long time. But really, uh, with the limited time we have, Sissy, I suppose we should get right on and let East Texas wait for a little while. Um, Sissy, portraying Joyce, who is called Beth in the movie, I know you didn't have a chance to know her ahead of time because no. your director did not want you to be influenced. But now that you do know Joyce, are you happy with your portrayal, or would you have changed anything at all? I think I could. I think there's some little business that I've picked up from her uh, that I could have, that I would have put in. Business gestures or gestures and things like that. Yeah. What does she do? And her, I could have done her accent. I think if if I could have followed her around for a week or so. Yes, because you're extremely good with accents. Thank you. But uh, I can't shake my own, but I can mimic <laughs> others. <laughs> um, as far as um, the, the content of the movie, Sissy, and now that it is so controversial, uh, knowing all of that, would you still want to do the picture? Absolutely. It was, of course, Costa Gavras is a brilliant filmmaker, and I was aware of that when I met him, so I was very excited that he wanted me to do the picture. And I was thrilled about working with Jack Lemmon. But mainly, it was the story. I was so moved and touched by the story of the Harmon family and what they went through, and the personal relationships between them. Uh, that That's what drew me. Their, their story is what drew me to this project. Yes, Joyce, in, in sitting there viewing the movie, I, I don't think there's a single person who won't get caught up in that. And uh, most of us have never had anything that traumatic, but we still empathize with you and, and uh, the Horman family, what they went through. Now, one thing, though, let's clear this up. In mm -hmm. the movie, you're called Beth. That's right. Did you want to keep a secret identity, and did you ask them not to call the character Joyce? At the very start of the project, yes because uh, none of the uh, uh, players had been identified. I didn't know that there would be a sissy. I didn't know there'd be a Jack. I didn't know there'd be Costa Gavras. Um, and although I've come to know and love Eddie and, Mil and Millie Lewis, I didn't know them at that time. And Hollywood does uh, many different things, all right? So there was some anxiety. I confess that. Uh, as as uh, it all got pulled together, I gained much more confidence when uh, I knew who was going to be involved. And uh, at that point, I would have been just as happy if they'd used my real name, but they decided to go with the way it had been uh, decided earlier. So, Beth, one thing. Now, see, I'm calling you Beth. That's all right. <laughs> Joyce, one thing mm -hmm. uh, that wasn't made clear to me in the movie, maybe I missed it or maybe mm -hmm. it was uh, so subtle I didn't get it, but I never did quite understand why did you not go to Vigna del Mar that day with them? I had to renew my uh, residence visa. It was running out on that very day, and that's why I didn't go along. And uh, the, the inference, uh, mm -hmm. we got one little inference, that there might have been some sort of romantic thing between Terry and your husband. Um, did that quickly get put to rest? There shouldn't have been any inference like that. Terry was a very good friend of ours. Uh, she comes from Iowa, I come from Minnesota, and we were living next door to each other in the same apartment building in New York. And uh, she was coming down for a vacation to visit us. That's all there was to that. Do you think that, um, still, do you mm -hmm. feel that the U.S. government or Ray Tower is, is directly responsible for your husband's death? Well, what I really feel is that there's more information out there that we don't have in regard to my husband's death. And certain uh, facts and evidences point to certain conclusions, and I think that the movie reveals that. And that's why, between the book and the movie itself, I'm just happy that the American public will be able to look at it see what the experience was and evaluate it for themselves. That's really what I'm happy about in terms of the movie. 
In other words, you don't want us to come out of the, the movie feeling cut and dried. Uh, this is what happened, and, and these are the people who are at fault. Well, I feel there's more information that's available that can come out about it, all right? And I personally hope that, that those who see it will come to the same conclusion, of course, because it's the one I've come to. But what's there is what happened to us, and certainly uh, people can derive other conclusions from certain set of experiences. So, The State Department, of course, uh, the people are really portrayed as the heavies in this. Do you think that it's exaggerated at all, or were they really that bad and that insens insensitive? There were a couple of other incidences that are not portrayed there in which I, I think they would come off looking worse than they do. So from my, from my perspective, I don't think that they're uh, unfairly portrayed. Certainly from their perspective, they have indicated that they do feel that. So, uh, but some of those inc uh, incidences are set down in the book. So if anyone is interested in it, uh, I encourage them to read the book too. Sissy, I have to talk with you just a little bit about the Oscar race coming up because, of course, uh, this time uh, last year you were, I'm sure, terribly nervous and terribly mm -hmm. excited. But you were the favorite, and everybody kept saying, it's got to be Sissy Spacek. And I went on the air saying, it's got to be Sissy Spacek. But then I thought, wow, that's, that's pretty heavy for her because supposing, you know, something could happen. How did you, how did you handle the anxiety of that? My mother gave me some wonderful advice. When I was nominated for the award, I suddenly thought, oh, what am I going to wear? Oh, what am I going to do? What am I going to say if I get it? And she said, honey, nobody, you've already done all that you should do. You've made the film. You're nominated for, for an award. Just be yourself, be genuine, have fun, and think of it as a gift. And I remembered that, and I had a ball, and I I felt no anxiety. I was relaxed and I felt fortunate to be there. It was thrilling for me to be nominated and it was thrilling for me to hear people say, oh, you're going to get it, you're going to get it. Because that in itself was like being awarded the Oscar from you and from uh, others who wanted me to get it. And it was just, it was just a, a very warm and wonderful evening. Well, and you came across exactly that way. Now, this year, it appears to me at this point, Sissy, that the best actress race is between Meryl Streep and Katharine Hepburn and Diane Keaton. Do you see it that way? I, it, it's, a wonder, it's a wonderful group of actresses this year. Uh, those three, I think, are especially, did especially wonderful jobs. Katharine Hepburn, I mean, my goodness gracious, she's been doing wonderful work for years and years, and Meryl Streep and Diane Keaton are two of my very very favorite actresses. Which one do you think will get it, Streep? I, I don't know. I don't know. She's picked up a lot of the other awards this year, and I, so I would say she's the favorite. Though I don't know. It could be Catherine. It could be Catherine. On a sentimental vote? Well, she's a one, she's, she, it was a great performance. Indeed. Indeed. And I, um, I don't know, but it'll, I'm glad I'm not in the hot seat this year. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think that come next year, you well could be in the hot seat again. So oh, I'll just you. I'll just close with that little thought, Sissy. Lovely thank to you, see Bobby. you again. Good, good to see and you. Joyce, very nice to get to know you. Lovely to know you. Thank you. It's a lovely interview. Thank you both. It's tough to do two together. You did it. You handled it very nicely. Okay, a couple of reasks, if I may, please. Tell me when. That's it. And if I look about here, will that be good? Okay. Are we rolling? Yeah, go ahead. Okay, and, and nobody needs to answer anything. Okay. okay. Joyce, in this movie, of course, the State Department comes off as the heavies. Do you think that it could be exaggerated a little bit in the movie? Oh, okay. Uh, all right. Um, okay. Um, okay. 
Sissy, how did you cope with the fact that everybody was saying, oh, Sissy is the favorite to win the Oscar for Coal Miner's Daughter? How did you cope with that sort of anxiety? Okay, thanks, Sissy. Okay.